Hello, everyone. This is Vinny Caravella. I am here to play a little bit of Exapunks today. Game that came out last year around uh, end of October, I believe. It's over on Steam. I think it's around 20 bucks. That's the time of this recording. I'm going to Exapunk solo today. I'm, gonna, I'm a solo hacker today uh, because I think this game kind of lends itself to just noodling down and solving some puzzles. And it's pretty simple. But there's going to be some time spent here just working through what the solutions for these puzzles are. So what is this game? This game is basically a Zaktronics game, which means there's some semblance of coding or programming or puzzle solving in it. Uh, you kind of have this interface, uh, which is reminiscent of this 80s hacking aesthetic. Pretty well done. I like it a lot. Uh, a big part of this game... Well, I'll jump in here to the main interface. There might be some spoilers in here for narrative stuff. Since I'm a little bit later in the game, I'll start with the early puzzles. But in the chat room, you might see... I don't know. Whatever spoilers are these days. You might see them in the chat room. But try not to... You'll survive. It'll be okay. Uh, so what this game is, it is about programming. You are a hacker who is kind of infected with this blight, which, uh, the phage, which is kind of turning parts of you into a robot, a computer. Uh, this game has you go in and let's see if I can, uh, just get into the tutorial here. Kind of has you go in and hack other systems using, as uh, this pad on the left here. This is where you're going to do your programming. So you're going to write all your code and it'll visualize it on the right hand side here. Uh, so this game tutorializes itself in an interesting way. It actually has zines that you can print out or you can view digitally. So if you click the digital version, it'll open up a PDF and really, um, it kind of walks you through some of the tutorial stuff here in the beginning. Kind of the how the computer systems are set up. But the meat of this is going to come here. And I would recommend if you can, if you don't have two monitors, at least in the beginning, maybe just print this page out, uh, these two pages, because they will be your friend in the early game. Just kind of going over the kind of limited function set, but it, it will help you just to have this on hand to reference. I have two monitors at home, so I'm able to just keep one of these up. But occasionally you will have to come back into these to look at specialized cases or systems uh, that th are in the zine, and then the game will point you towards those as well. They're also just kind of neat to look at. Um, so if you can print them out, I'd say print them out if you, if you, if you can. Otherwise, keep them open. You might be all tabbing quite a bit. But what do you do here? Okay, so... Let's go in and jump into connect back to this network. So, let's see. Move file 200 to the outbox. File 200, move it to the outbox. Pretty easy. Let's just um, start a new solution. Uh, and you can have multiple ones here. We'll load into here. So, the nice thing about... Uh, Exapunks is usually you can just hit show goal and it'll show you kind of what you need to do and if you need to change any files it'll uh, represent that here as well when you hold down show goal you're going to write your code you're going to hit execute and your little bot is going to run your code through one permutation the goal is to have it run and succeed through 100 different permutations now things might change uh, for example, uh, this one doesn't seem to have it. It's very early on, but uh, maybe the name of this file will change or the path will change. So you have to write your code robust enough to uh, accommodate those changes. The other thing is the uh, size of your code can have a limit. So you can't just go and write a monster code. Uh, you can still solve the puzzle with it, but you'll be over the code limit. So you might not get credit uh, in terms of scoring or ranking. So how do we make the little robot do the things we want to do? The little exa. Uh, well, to move, you're going to use this command called link. And then you're going to look at the number for the, the door you want to go through, or the, the little portal here, uh, 800. So we're going to link 800. And we do that. I'm just going to step forward. 
and my little uh, XO gets, out, gets over there and then explodes because it's out of instructions. Uh, so then when we get there, we're gonna use the command um, grab and the file name, 200. Boom, the tab over, grabs that, gonna explode because it's out of instructions. We're gonna um, link to the uh, outbox, which is 800 again. If I wanted to go backwards, I would link to negative one. So let's go link again, grab, link 800, and we're out of instructions. This might actually solve it since it'll explode and drop it. And that's it. So now uh, I solved it for that permutation. I can hit play, and it'll start running through all the permutations here. Uh, and leave no trace just means don't leave any X's or files that weren't supposed to be there. And you can see in the kind of um, uh, histograms here that the number of cycles, how, how long it took my code to go, uh, four, you had uh, four commands there. Uh, the size, how much code there was, and I believe activity is basically there are kill commands or, or generate commands and, or replicate commands. I think that's what that is. Uh, so you can also go to your test run data to see how long it took per permutation. Some of these will be longer. There's some text parsing, some math that'll happen. So some of these can vary depending on the permutation. Uh, and it's fun to come, kind of compare and see how far you went here. So I think the only other thing that maybe I probably have it in my other one too, uh, this solution, uh, here I dropped it and then I eliminated my exit. So you can see the difference there, just added two lines of code versus just uh, going there and exploding. So let's move on to the next uh, next one here. Uh, and again, I'll just kind of make a new one here. Uh -huh. uh, add the first two values of file 200, multiply the result by the third value, then subtract the fourth value. Append the result to the end of the file, then move it to the outbox. So, <clears throat> uh, this one obviously getting more complicated very quickly. So, you could go into the um, uh, zine that we had before and get more information on this in, in the tutorial. Uh, so, let's see, that's a ghost walks you through, I think. Uh, yeah, so the, there they are. You can kind of get a pretty easy look at how this stuff is going to go in the beginning here. I will say it does kind of dump you into the deep end pretty quickly, but, you know, that's kind of the joy of this game, figuring out your own solutions. So let's see if we can solve this one uh, pretty quickly. So again, show goal. We'll show you what we're looking for here at the end, and let's see if any of the other permutations here change. See, so the numbers are changing here, so you can't just hard code your solution to the end of the file. Otherwise, you would not make it through these permutations. Append the correct value to the end of 200, move the file to the outbox, and then go trace. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna link to 800, we're gonna grab 200, uh, and let's just make sure that's working. Boom, we're gonna explode because we're out of commands. Uh, all right, add the first two values of file 200. So now we're getting into what these all are. Over here we have X as a variable, T as another var variable. F is gonna be the file you're holding, so you can read from that file from F. And M is a global variable or a local, if you want, and you can, we'll get to this later, but you can send this variable to other X's if you have them. Uh, X is probably the most uh, variable, or I don't know, for me, who knows very little programming. Uh, but limited is the most variable like variable in the game, meaning that you write to it, it doesn't get overwritten until you write to it again. T uh, is this kind of variable that uh, is mostly used for comparison operators, almost like if and statements and logic statements. Instead of um, basically, if you're doing a comparison between something, if it's true, it'll change T to one. If it's false, it'll change T to zero, and you're basically reading if that's true or not. You can also write to it, but it will be overwritten if you're doing uh, uh, those kind of uh, comparison operations. So for this, we're just gonna do some math. Uh, so it says, add the first two values of file 200. So we're going to add, um, I think it's addy. If, uh, if you don't have the, again, all these functions are in the zine, but if you type it wrong, 
it will kind of mark you kind of spell correct style. So that's nice. Uh, most of these are four characters. I think almost all of them are four characters. So Addy F to F and put it in X, right? And the first two values of file 200. Okay. Multiply the rest by the third value and subtract the, okay. Multiply the rest by the third value. Oh, sorry, multiply the result by the third value. So we're gonna do multi X uh, times F. So, and then we're gonna put that back in X. So when you, whenever you read from, um, here, I'll, I'll show you. When you copy F to X, copy F to X, copy F to X. Whenever you read from the file, it'll move to the next value after it's done. So we're gonna copy 72 to X and then it automatically moves forward one. We're gonna copy 52 to X, we're gonna copy um, four to X. So it automatically moves one. You can actually move the header if you want uh, back and forth uh, as many times as you want if you need to find a certain spot. So boom, 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 boom. Oops, I went too far out. So let's get back in there. So it was, we're gonna add F to F and copy to X. Then gonna multiply, I think it's just that. Uh, multiply the result by the third value. So multiply, oh, it's Molly, F, X to X. And then we're gonna subtract the fourth value. So we're gonna subi, I think that is. And we're gonna subtract F from that and drop it into, uh, maybe we can just append it to the end there. Let's see if that works. Gonna link to 800, uh, and that's it. Leave no trace. Um, we can either halt, and then, you know, we can halt or drop and then halt, and we can shave some of these off later. So let's see. So we're gonna grab 200. We're gonna add um, those two together, and then we're gonna multiply what's in the, the next uh, number in the file to X and put it in X. Then we're gonna subtract uh, from X uh, F and put it back on the file. And then move, drop it, and be done. And that's it. Uh, so if we, if we wanted to shave some steps off of this, and we can just kind of link there. Uh, and I can say link 800 again, and he'll just explode. Uh, and drop the file. So let's play through all the permutations. So we hit this, ba ba boom, seems like it's working, and this is like super fast. So you can see uh, I did it in eight, Cowboy from Naughty Dog did it in seven, shaved off uh, something there, which I did not do. The size of my code, pretty small. So there must just be one cycle I'm adding here, which is frustrating to me. Somewhere in here, there's an extra thing. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm not gonna find it right now. But that's that's kind of the fun part of it is seeing how you can optimize your code uh, to beat your friends. So let's go out of here, let's go into the next one. So let's uh, not stare at this so we don't do the same thing twice, which I probably will do the same thing twice because these are pretty easy. File 199 contains exactly two values, a keyword and a number. Create a new file in the outbox, copy those two values to it. Swapping their order so that the number is first. When you are finished, delete file 199. I just read that, I didn't actually internalize any of that. So let's see. File 199, let's just show the gold. Okay. Okay, they're swapped. Seems pretty easy. There we go, we're gonna grab probably these two values, keyword and number, create a new new file in the outbox, copy these two. So it's swapping their order so that the number is first. When you're finished, delete 199. Okay. All right. So this keyboard we're gonna link to 800, link to 799, gonna grab 199. Let's just link, let's get where we need to go. Oh. Will it? Hmm. 
All right. Well, um, without looking at the tutorial, might be teaching me how to send variables, which is fine. Uh, this is a great way for me to talk about variables. So we're going to grab this. We're going to take the first, uh, let's just seek to the end. That'll get me the header, um, to the end of the file. So that's at the end. We're going to seek negative one. Ah, we can just, since we know it's there. I bet every permutation just has two, right? Yeah, let's just do things. So we can just see. Uh, and then we're going to copy uh, what's in the file to our global variable. And he's just going to sit there. That X is going to sit there until something can read from it. So we're going to create another X. Huh? And we're going to move. Or sorry, we're going to link to 800. We're going to link 800. And then we're going to um, is it make. Yeah, and we're gonna copy M F. We're gonna copy M F. And we're gonna. Well, I'm just gonna finish this all here. Uh, okay. And then basically we're gonna seek. Uh, this will just reset the head back as far as it can go, and then copy uh, F to M, and then wipe the file we're holding, and then destroy ourselves. So let's see that happen. So we got XA and you can kind of highlight who you want to watch here. You can also pop these out if that's helpful. Uh, sometimes these get very long and that is helpful. So we're going to go XB is going to start going here and hang out there. XA is going to go here, grab that file, move the playhead over one, uh, copy the, what's in the file to the M variable, transmit it because uh, XB is just sitting here waiting zap gets it writes it to the file it's sitting there waiting for it again zap writes it uh blows itself up uh this xa wiped out that file which is delete the file and destroys itself and that's going to do it for this but i have an idea maybe how we can make this a little bit more efficient and show off some other stuff yeah, it looks pretty long, pretty long. Um, let's see if we can optimize this. So, the first thing I'd like to show you, let's get rid of that little bot. So we link to 800 and there's a cool thing we could do, which is uh, replicate this exit. And when you replicate it, you have to jump it over to, um, a new function. So we're going to mark a new function and we're going to say this is called a, a write down function because it's going to write down what we're sending. It. So we're going to replicate this exa and it's going to, whatever we replicate is going to jump over to write down. Uh, write down is going to go link to 800. It's going to um, uh, make, it's going to copy F, to, uh, to copy M to F. Uh, here's another thing you can do. This kind of comes in later. Um, I think it's this. You can do that. And then that. And basically that'll just unpack that and repeat what, what's in between these two curly break, uh, curly snails? I forgot, geez, my head. Whatever's between these two little curly guys, uh, it'll repeat the number of times that you wrote here. So it'll do it twice. So this should actually just function the same way. See, it, it kind of unpacked it already. Uh, actually, I forgot to then halt. Okay, I'll do it a little slower. So it jumps over here, replicates itself, uh, and this guy started at our function, so right down. Uh, it goes over there, makes the file, is waiting. Uh, this guy is gonna do a seek the last thing copies it there, resets it back to the beginning, ttd, ttd, all that goodness. Um, maybe we'll just run through and see how we did. Uh, I'm still, uh, didn't, didn't really shave off too many, uh, too many cycles there. Let's see how I did it initially. Also 12. Same thing. 
Uh, looks like I copied initially, copied the first variable to X, then did that, then did that, which, you know, wipe the file. Uh, and then just blew up. Okay. So let's go back here. I wonder if that would save us some time. Let's try it. So the thing is he'll run down this actually just blow himself up. That's fine. That's fine. Promised myself I wouldn't get too lost in the weeds on this quickly. Too late. Um, let's see if this actually shaves off a step. I don't know if I will. Yeah. I don't have to go in there and do some optimizing. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the idea for that one. Um, is this the, another uh, tutorial? I believe it is. Again, let's go here so we can attempt to get a new solution. Uh, file 200 contains exactly one number. Create, there it is, nine. Create a new file in the outbox containing the numbers N through zero in decreasing order. When you are finished, delete file 200. All right, now we're getting uh, kind of interesting. So we're gonna link over to 800. We're gonna grab 200. Create a new file in the outbox containing numbers N through zero in decreasing order. When you're finished, delete file 200. Okay, let's just link over to, uh, you know, uh, I think we could just copy F to X, wipe, link 800, make. Okay, so now we're gonna have a nine in X. So, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, we're gonna do um, basically their version of a loop, I think. So we're gonna take, um, Create a new file in Outbox containing numbers n through zero in decreasing order. Okay, I assume every permutation is going to have a different number. Yeah. Uh, so let's just do uh, copy x to f, and then we're going to subtract one from x and copy that back to x. Uh, and then we're going to. Uh, test to see if um, x equals zero. So we're going to uh, oh geez, what is oh, what's the comparer? Uh, let's see. Let's go to the news. Uh, what is the format for this? Oh, test. Oh, okay. Test x equals zero. Uh, and then if that's true, uh, well, let's just say if that's false, so f jump will be false, t jump is true. So if that's false, if x does not equal zero, it's gonna go to loop. Uh, and if it's true, we're gonna halt and be done. And I think that'll be it. Let's give it a shot. Right, goes here. Holding on to our new file, which is gonna write nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, did I not did I forget zero? Yeah, zero. Uh can we just say this? It's less than. Yep, that did it. Alright, let's let's play through. So sometimes you get longer things here. This is where you go into super fast. I thought that was pretty efficient. Wow. What is this one? How do we do? How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you break the code? What's the trick? Hmm. Hmm. What is it? What is it? How? It's just not enough. I mean, some of those, some of those are gonna run. And he got in 60. Mm -hmm. 
get it without subtracting it. Um, hmm. 112. That's... It's really intense. How? How do you do it? Let me just... Let me see. Run my loop. Uh, if I'm X my file, I'm definitely gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to run this loop. Hmm. Pretty short loop. Alright. I'll have to think about it more another time. Hmm. Hmm. Good stuff. All right. Uh, so that, I mean, now we're kind of getting into it. Let's see what this one is. I'm going to try and open up a new one here. Uh, and also, uh, what I've been skipping, there are these kind of, uh, little story, story moments. So you're, you're dealing, <laughs> I just kind of glossed over all this. Uh, this kind of computer AI program, Ember, uh, is here kind of contacts you through your computer to, uh, walk you through a way to get medicine to help you with the phage, this computer, uh, virus or whatever it is that's been taking over your actual body. Um, and so this is how you kind of get, uh, some story through it. It's pretty neat. And the whole time, every time you do stuff like hack this pizza thing or, or do other stuff, you will see, uh, that reflected in what's happening in the chat, which is also kind of neat. I need to get these kind of choices here. Um, mm, let's just say, okay. So that's what we have to do. Uh, append your order file 300 to the end of the order file list. File 200. Note that all orders, including yours, will consist of exactly five keywords. Okay, here's my order. The address, my order. And I need to append it to the end of file uh, 200. So if I hit show goal, you can see my order eventually will be appended to the end there and leave no trace. Um, all right, seems simple enough. So we're gonna take the, the information from here and we just gotta pop it onto the end of here. Easy peasy. Uh, so let's do this. We're gonna grab, it's the most basic way I can do this. Not thinking too hard. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna just copy what's in the file to the global date, uh, the global variable. We'll have another exa, exa bot guy go link to 800, grab 200, and seek to the end. Um, you know, this is, I think they even tell you this in the zine. This is a very fast way to get to the end of a file. And uh, we're gonna copy what's in the global variable to F. Uh, and let's just do that over and over again. I mean, we're only gonna do it. We're only gonna do it five times. It says exactly five keywords, so I kind of just can just do this five times. Let's just do this. We're gonna, uh, I can show off two more commands here. So we're gonna make that guy just loop. We're gonna test, mark him with a loop too. And then we're gonna test and see if we're at the end of file. Um, so basically if it gets to the end of a file, it'll be, if it's true, uh, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go on a kill mission. We'll just go, um, it will make a thing called kill. And then uh, if not, we're gonna jump to loop. So if uh, we are at the end of file, we're gonna go mark kill. We're gonna drop our file. We're gonna link 800 to the next thing. And we're gonna kill that other bot. And then we're gonna halt ourselves. So let's see if this works. Uh, okay, we grab that, forgot file. So he grabs that, he goes there, he should grab that. Uh, and then she should just start sending stuff over, testing the end of file. We're good. So we're going to jump to the loop. Okay. And then 
just to pen that stuff, right? Cheese, extra cheese, anchovies. We're good. So now we'll be at the end of the file. I'm gonna jump here, drop your file, go to 800, zap, and explode. Uh, and that did it. And that should probably run through all these permutations. Not too bad. I'll take it. Uh, let's see how I did it last time. Um, do, 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 do. So we grab that file, we copy that to there. Mm. Oh, this is this is not gonna work. This is, I don't think this will even work. I don't like any of this. Yeah, I guess it did. Huh. There's a better way to do it. Uh, what was my other one? This is a little more similar. We just did the five. Yeah, that seems, that's probably the most efficient way to do it. So the other way we could have done this too is with that at repeat five times. Uh, and then, and, and then the same thing. And uh, you can comment stuff out if you want by adding note. And I don't believe that counts towards your size. All right, this should run just fine too. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, more cutscene stuff if you want. More story pizza stuff. Delivery. Uh, so I'm gonna get this pizza, but I'm actually gonna get a little bit of medicine. So your, your neighbors will come by too. An operator economy like this so here's your pizza and here's your other package i hope it helps good luck uh, getting that money together thanks if there's anything else you need so some stu cool stuff along the way so you, you keep doing this and they get more and more complicated and they do get kind of complicated uh there are things called hacker battles See if I can find one. Uh, sorry, let me scroll through. Uh, okay. Pizza World News. I thought they were earlier. Hack match is pretty great. Uh, where the heck? Oh, well, here's one. Uh, so basically what you can do, uh, against, uh, somebody who's already played, like somebody on your friends list that's already played, or against the AI, you basically write code and it goes up against their code and whoever wins, wins, uh, with some objective here. So to win this, you must grab files as they spawn in the central host and bring them back to your host. So grab the files here and bring them back. Uh, reading the uh, file register, this guy will tell you the ID of the most recent file so that you can go grab it. Gain one point for every file you bring back, but you lose a point every time one of your exes kills, um, orders the kill instruction. So if you're just sitting there wiping out their opponent's exes, you're, you're not gonna score a lot of points. So. Let's see what I wrote here. So we're going to go to 800. Boom. We're going to then replicate our exa to, uh, looks like go to this file, go to here, go to here. Uh, and this guy is just going to keep spawning uh, exes to do that. Uh, each one of those is then going to go link, uh, grab the file that is in here, 
uh, come back and drop it off and, and explode. So let's see how that works out. So he's just sitting there spawning X's that are then grabbing files uh, against these other guys. Uh, if, he, if they try to grab a file that's not there because the opponent got one, then the X explodes, but we're constantly making uh, new X's to, to fill that void. So I, I assume at the end of the day, you can see the points. I won. It's great. I'm the best. Uh, let's go see what, uh, if that code will work against uh, Andy's here, or my, my friend here. Okay. Okay. It looks like it did. Um, okay. So those are the um, hacker battles, which are pretty fun. So you just kind of go up against the last version of the code that's in there. So uh, people on my friends list can then go in and try to battle my code. And then I would go back and try to make my code optimized. I assume that's how it works. That's how it seems to work with uh, the stuff I've done. Other cool stuff that is just in here along the way. I think this is, is like some version of Solitaire. Which, uh, you know, okay. Uh, a game I actually really like in here uh, is Hack Match, which is this kind of matching game. And I'm going to switch over. Uh, <laughs> they just kind of simulate this Japanese arcade machine, which is pretty fun. And you kind of go and kind of not quite puzzle exchange your way through, but you grab these, flip those over so you can flip and grab. And you're trying to match, uh, I think it's match four. So let's see. Uh, now I'm just going to concentrate on doing this. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Best way to do this. Uh -huh. Perfect. Mm. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Okay. Yes. Sorry, talking and doing this. This is where a second person would come in handy because oh, if I can get that there and be in business. Okay, brilliant. Best move here. Oh, I'm getting down in the weeds here. Oh boy. Uh, dig it out. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, it's at the end. Um, oh, cripes. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad, it's all bad. It's all bad. Okay, well, not gonna get the high score that time. Anyway, hack match, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the other thing they have is like a fake Game Boy, uh, which um, you kind of have to hack at first, and I'll just run my solution for this. I'll tell you what, I never got what the hell, I couldn't tell you what swizzling actually is. I had to kind of look it up uh, in the uh, thing here, and I think I, I understood it at the time, maybe when I had to do it, and I don't even remember it now. I haven't used it uh, that much since. Maybe it's a real thing, but boy, it did not penetrate my dumb brain. Um, it's about rearranging the numbers. I'm, I'm sure it makes sense. Uh, but I haven't had to use it that much. Anyway, you gotta go in here and you gotta hack this thing. 
uh, three digit code that when entered one digit at a time into pass will unlock the link between a debug and secret. Find the secret code and create a file in your host that contains a code as a sequence of the three values. So let's just walk through this. We go and we try to write this, 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 and we write zero, zero, zero. Didn't work. We write zero, zero, one. I wait a second. That uh, noop is like, just wait. Wait. I test to see if anybody's writing something to me. That's a test, uh, basically memory read or test reading from the M variable. Nothing is able to be read. So I write if it's true. Uh, I'll go to write, but uh, if not, I will uh, append X to two. And here we go. Now we're going to write uh, zero, zero, 002. And this is going to run for a while. Basically, if, it, if I unlock this door, when I replicate test, the, this little extra test to see if it can break in here. I know that this will be 800 at some point, uh, and then it'll have a file in there. So let's uh, let's just run this. Oh, I'll run it so you can see it happen. <laughs> it might take a while. I'll just run this. I forget what the, the passcode is here. We all get in there. Let's speed it up. Uh, yeah, and then basically this one's gonna have a lot of cycles. Uh, you can see they're in the, the thousands there. But you're basically brute forcing a, a passcode uh, to get into this Game Boy. Yeah, well there you go. I'm not too far off. I mean, I guess it could be a little faster, but uh, that's all. That's a long one. But you can go in here and try, and then once you've uh, hacked this thing, there there are commands you can go and make uh, your own, uh, basically your own Game Boy games, real simple stuff. And I've seen, boy, it, I mean, it's in the, is it in the volume one or volume two? Let's see. Might be in volume two. Uh, all the commands are in there and it's just intense and I've looked up stuff on YouTube and it's it's amazing. Yeah, it must be in here uh, There it is you can go in there and figure out how to make sprites make your own music um, Let's see if I can just bring one up here on the old youtube.com uh, Let's see redshift Exapunks. Here you go. Just to show you. Pretty wild, huh? I did not uh, really attempt to do any of this stuff. But I think this is wild. Somebody made solitaire as well. Again, incredible. Um, <laughs> somebody made hack match in here. That game we saw before, which is again pretty wild. Um, all right, back to Exapunks. Uh, so it kind of goes on from there. Um, it's 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 neat. Uh, I can kind of jump into where I'm at, and we'll just take a look and see what we need to do. And maybe there are spoilers, but so far it's just been doing kind of fun programming challenges or hacking challenges. Uh, eventually, you do wind up having to hack your own body, which is neat. Uh, to kind of like as your body turns into this computer, which is a bad thing. Uh, you have to send signals from parts of your body to other parts of your body. Uh, upload a new television program to a satellite broadcast system. I thought I started this one. Uh, maybe my, uh, maybe my save didn't upload. Um, I'll just kind of jump in here and see how far we can get. Uh, art is powerful. Abstract video piece. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I think I did do this one. Are my solutions out here? All right. Oh boy. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if I remember when I did this one, it took a while. So we'll, we'll, we'll spend some time here and maybe we'll call it. 
Uh, align the satellite dish with the target satellite by setting the azimuth elevation and frequency, then retransmit the data from Ember 2's video file, file 301. Oh boy. After encrypting it using the TV station's encryption key, file 199. Okay, so here is this. Here's the encryption key. Uh, frequencies are available for the line. So you look to the stars with the encryption key. Oh, right. Okay, yes, I do remember doing some of this at home. So the encryption key uh, is in here somewhere. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. If you guys can't see that. Uh, I might have passed that too far. Sorry, one second. Uh, look to the stars, 22. 22. Okay. Um, right. To encrypt a sequence at the first value. Uh, yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's, let's get as far as we can before I have to break out a calculator. Um, align the satellite dishes. So we're going to link 800. We're going to link 799. We're going to link. Oops. Okay. Well, make sure we get the actual file here. So we've got azimuth elevation and frequency. We got to change. Blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's just do this without thinking too hard. I'm going to link here. Let's assume we have this other exa grabbing 300 copying F to M. Which will be that first thing, copy F to M, which will be the second thing, and then the frequency, copy F to M. Okay, let's do that for now. Okay, we'll copy F, copy M to X. And then I think we write one or negative one to the motor to move the azimuth. So if I remember correctly, and again, that's in that um, zine that tells you how to do this. So to move this number to match this number, I have to write negative one to motor. So let's mark our loop here. Let's mark our, uh, let's call it as, as a loop. Let's just call it that. And because I suspect we'll be doing a bunch of these. So we're going to, first we got a test, hashtag asm equals x, um, it's true, we're going to jump to, um, we're going to jump to go to elev. So we go to elevation. Uh, if it's not, oh crud. Oh, we gotta see if it's higher or lower, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, I might not be doing this best way. Let's just, I'm gonna keep moving forward. Uh, test of asm is greater, lower, you know, less than X. Um, false. <laughs> Jump to. Oh, I feel like I'm making this way more complicated already. Uh, greater than as um, uh, otherwise, we're going to. Uh, uh, we now have as of less than this, we're going to add. Sorry, we're gonna add 
Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Add one to motor. Copy one to motor. Jump to the loop. Let me sh look at this over in a second. Uh, okay, so let's just write this one first. Uh, greater than as a. Um, All right, so this is just going to be copy negative one motor. Is there a better way to do this. I don't know if there is. Um, jump. And then we'll just mark. Negative one, link, and a one. Oh, let's just pull up there. Actually, we're gonna copy. I mean, I mean, this is just what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy M to X here. We're gonna mark. Let's just see if this works. We're gonna mark our elevation loop, and we're just gonna steal basically this. Sorry, I'm just kind of noodling it out here. Kind of loop. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I've got a view on all these, don't I? That's my fault. Should have made them all four characters. Uh, go freak. Uh, mark. Freak loop and copy and X our last time here. I mean, we're just, we're, I think we're just gonna copy the frequency, right? So we we'll just copy M to freak. Whee! All right, let's see what happens here. So our goal is gonna be all of this. This is what we're kind of looking at here. Boom, boom. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see who explodes first. Uh, this is what I call this go freak. Oh, I think they better. Let's uh, let's try it. Okay, go. Uh, this exit is waiting to copy this to. Uh, this XO when they get there. Okay, we're in. Here we go. Start doing the business. So we've got... <sighs> Crap. I didn't realize. Okay. It copied Azimuth over, so we actually need to... I mean, this would be an easy fix, but we need to seek one. Seek one. Uh, that should push me to 123. Uh, that should push me from elevation to 36. Okay. Okay, 123, here we go. All right, we're testing this against, uh, we're testing 140 against 123. They, they, they do not equal. All right, it will be, not be less, so it'll be false. Right, copy negative one to here, which should take this down one. Perfect, jump back up to here, okay. Then run, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. We're trying to get to 123. All right, great. Okay, that worked. Same thing. We're trying to get to now 36. 
Doom, 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 36. And then they exploded. Uh, and I missed what happened. Did I link the wrong way? Uh, I probably didn't link out of here. But was that the problem? Sometimes these are a little bit of a bummer. And you, you kind of hit and play and stop to speed things along. All right. Uh, 3.84. Yeah. All right. That all worked. Ugh. Then it's going to get into the... Uh, And we're into the encoding stuff. Um, oh, brother. Okay, so what do we got going on? So you encrypt the sequence, add the first value of the key to the first value of your data, wrapping back to zero when the sum reaches 10,000. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean... Uh, so what do we got? Uh, transmit the data from embers to video file 301 after encrypting it using TV stations encryption. All right, so we're going to drop this. We're going to grab 301. Now we're in the data. We're going to seek one. Ugh, we're going to copy that over. We've made the frequency. to copy Let's read this one more time and the first value of the key to the first value of your data okay so let's just do this one step at a time so if we just add 1988 to 5 Four, four, five. Let's just make sure I have this right. Nineteen eighty eight to five, four, four, five. Right. Um. And then if it's over a thousand, it wraps back around. Over ten thousand, wraps back around, starts from there. So we're going to wind up subtracting. We can only subtract nine. So if we take M, let's copy data. It's probably an extra step, but I'm just going to take it a little slower. So copy data to X. Then we'll get that 5445 in my register. I'm going to add. I'm going to add M. X. Let's stick it in T for now. Let's see if that okay, where that gets me. Uh, and let's just. I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna create a new exit just to test this stuff out. Uh, sometimes notating this stuff out can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh. And let's just create a new exit that is I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna work on this part for right now. Okay. Where are my register now found? Oh, we gotta link them in there. Do 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 do. So let's just do this. So we're gonna link eight hundred, link seven ninety nine. Uh, let's see what we get in T. Register is right only. What am I trying to read from? Data. Oh. Hmm? Oh, it's here. Jeez. Uh, what is data? Am I not doing anything with it? Okay. 
Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay, so link here. Uh, salient so transmit the data. So we're gonna write. I'm gonna be writing that to there. Okay. Well, why don't you? Ba ba ba. Let's. Uh, why don't you just grab 199? Oh, it's locked. Oh, that ain't nothing easy. Well, let's just do the math right now. Okay. So, because we can always send another person in there. Um, I mean, we might have to do this anyway. So we're gonna link 800. We're gonna grab 199. And we're gonna copy F to X. There we go. Oops. I just want to see what we're getting in T. 7433. Would that be. That is correct. Okay. Okay, so the problem we're we're gonna run into issues where they're where they're gonna equal more than um, more than nine 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 nine. And let's I just kinda wanna see I just wanna work out my math here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. We blew it on this one. So we need it to be uh, 1,026, and I'm at 3,086. These are all too high. Everything's wrong here. Where did we actually go wrong? Seven four three three, three three seven eight, eight one five zero. Yeah, okay, so any of these is definitely going to be too much. Bummer. All right. Um, but, yeah, right. If it's. So we're putting that into T. Let's see, so if, let's see if we do, can we remove a step here, right? Yeah, yeah. Can we bone this already? <laughs> We're not not copying. Uh... Oh no! Wait, that is right. We're not going out of sync, right? Seven four three 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 seven eight. Did we miss eighty one fifty? Oh, shit's probably getting fucked up from here. Alright, hold on a second. Yeah. Sorry, this... 
It's probably copying uh, the global from somewhere else. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Um, and then we're going to go say T is equals this. What are we going to have to do? We're going to have to get a negative number from one of these. So if we take we've already burned our M variable. So we're actually going to have to stick M uh, to X so we remember it. Uh, and then if the uh, that equals that, we're going to have to Basically say this is right. Gosh, is this gonna be right? Uh, let me just see. All right, seven, four, three, three. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm actually at missing one here. I know I'm gonna. At the very least. Okay, right. That's that. <laughs> this is. Uh, all right. I was close. Uh, <laughs> X one T. <laughs> this I was never good at math. But I think this is, I think this is going to work. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that looks all good. Okay. All right. Like my little math loop. All right, let's copy this. I like what's going on here. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's copy this. Let's go back into here. Let me just paste this into my little loop here. So we have it. All right, so what we're actually going to wind up doing is now this friend who just changed the frequency is going to be the one who's going to copy that, whatever it is, into... Are they? Yes. They are going to need to copy M into data. We're going to solve this. We're going to do this. We're going to copy M into data. We are now going to wait here. Uh, and you're just going to wait and you're going to copy the results into data. Okay. After we have sent all of the crap to this bot, we're going to drop that. Grab 301. We are now going to become this bot. Uh, and we are going to say... How are we going to do it? 
No, this is what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna grab 301. We're then gonna move to here. We're gonna grab 301. We're gonna jump into here next to here. And we're gonna replicate ourselves into the math bot. Yes. Mark math bot. Uh, now we're gonna do math bots business. Okay, we can dump these. Get rid of you. Math bot is activated. Okay. gonna work grab that we gotta seek the uh, right we gotta seek one to get past this okay so now the trick here is gonna be <clears throat> we need to change the m variable from a global which any exabot on this map can read to local which means only the um uh, Exabot within this little uh, quadrant or room can read. So to do that, we can type in uh, mode. We can run a command called mode, which will switch that. Now, every time it copies a file into M, only Exabots within here can read it. Um, we should probably do that right before we make the other Exabot. So the other Exabot is set to, oops. Started to mess that up. Yeah, I did mess it up. Uh, sorry, we're gonna change mode before we replicate ourselves so the other bot inherits that. Great, this is all fine. This should actually work. We copy that, we copy that, we copy that. When we send this thing off, love it. Okay, when we send this off, we're gonna change math bots mode to global so that. Let's call, uh, let's call this one BusyBot. So that BusyBot can receive it. BusyBot's always gonna be on global. MathBot needs to be on both global, uh, local then global. So it's gonna copy that, it's gonna do some math, it's gonna test if this is fine. If it's, um, if it's fine, we're not gonna loop anymore. We're gonna send data. Go mark, send data. We're gonna go mode. We're gonna copy T to M. And we're gonna jump to MathBot. And it's gonna be the same thing here. Send data. Okay. Yeesh. Let's run it. Okay, first we're just gonna do our business. We can probably play. Does the business. Okay, we're sending, here we go. That's all wrong. What's the problem? <laughs> None of that is right. Okay, what is going on? Uh, you and you, you and you, you and you. You're, who's, okay. You've got this. Yes, you're just copying that to there. You're just copying that. Oh, you're sending this to him. That's not how this is supposed to work. You're on global. What happened to mode? Oh, I've got two modes in there. Dirt. Okay. Start over. There we go. Trial and error. Okay. Okay, we locked up. Somebody exploded. Let's try this again. I got a can it before um, he gets this down. Okay. Why did you explode? Copy M to X. Okay. Add it up. No file is held. We didn't grab the file. Okay. Math bot. No oh, math bot. Do I need to... 
goes goes math grab do a little swap here math grab grab uh I'm sorry, what are you doing, Mathbot? You should be adding. Can I grab 199? Okay, yeah. Uh, mark, math, grab, grab 199. And then we'll go do our business. So we're actually going to replicate the math grab. Right? Okay. All right, do your business, math bot. Where are you? You got this. You got your thing. Boom. Do math. 7433. Is that equal? No. So you're going to jump to send data? Yes. You're going to change your mode to global. Boom. You're going to send it over to our send bot. All right. You read it. Oh, I didn't change the mode back. Crap. You're still on global. No! When you sent a zero, what's wrong with you, friend? Why would you do that? Anyway, but this was broken. Uh, oh, crud. Because, uh, like I said earlier, way earlier, seven hours ago, uh, we're doing these I'm putting it in T. That's going to break everything. Okay. Once we're in here, this... Yes. Boo. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to test this. Oh, boy. Okay. If we're good, we're going to do this twice. Okay, this is dumb, but we're going to do this twice. So we've copied M to X. We're going to test this. We just add it up and we test. First, we test to see if this is good. And then this becomes a one or a T becomes a one or a zero. Uh, and if we're good, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this again because we're, we're happy now. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do that again and we're happy because we're happy. And, but if we're not, then we gotta do all this business. We're gonna do all this business. We're gonna, we're gonna mode here and we're gonna copy T and we're actually gonna just math bot here. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Let's see. Oh, well, we got a number. That's not the number I wanted. So what are we doing? Where's our math bot? Nope, you're a math bot. Okay, so what is going on? You stuck? Uh, sorry, let me just see what happened. Do, do, do. Okay. Math bot. Grab it. Get your file. Okay, right. Got it. Add X plus F. Test it. We got seven four three three. You're good. So we can go to send data. Oh, we gotta seek back one. Okay. A pain in the neck. Um, because once you read from the file, it advances one. All right, because we're going to do this whole thing again. All right, now try it. Okay, okay. 
this look good. And then we got stuck. Uh, we got stuck as soon as things went rotten. Probably because of a mode thing. Right? You're set to global. You should be set to local. So you made it through all this. Yeah. Okay. I see where I messed up. That's it. I think this is the last line of code. Run it. I like it. I like it. There's all the numbers. Oh, what happened? What happened? Your numbers look good. You exploded. Why did you explode? Oh, you hit the end of the file, didn't you? Somebody hit the end of a file, didn't you? Because you hit the end of this stupid file. Oh my goodness, what a pain in my butt. All right, well, okay. Uh, MathBot exploded because it's running this encryption thing and if it uh, hits the end of this file, I think in the text here, you're supposed to loop back around. Ugh. All right, we just gotta... <laughs> Test it here. Thief. Uh, I'm. This feels clunky. There must be a better way to do this. Okay, reset. You know what? What are we up to? Cycle of size. I oh, know we're not there yet. Seek. Um, just back the math bot. Will this work? Let's see if this works. I feel like it might still break. Okay. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> all right. I think everything's good. I think we just got. I think we just got to clean up now. I think Mathbot's just gonna go on a killing spree. <clears throat> all right. How do we kill? Sometimes this is the tough part. All right. How do we? How do we eliminate everyone? Who's going to know when we're done? Um, our initial, our friend here is going to know when we're done. Uh, not busy bot, not math bot, but um, this, this guy is going to know when we're done. So here we go. Boom. Okay. You're going to know. Maybe we just eliminate everyone here. It's going to work. The only problem with this would be if people haven't sent their stuff off yet. Yeah, MathBot is definitely not going to send their stuff off before the kill spree happens. Okay. Uh, let's just, we can send a code. Let's try this. Where code? Oh boy, I bet, I bet this is going to start running up there in a cycle. All right, uh, copy, um, let's just copy negative one to M and then destroy ourselves. Okay. All right, we're testing in file now. We're gonna test. We're gonna test if x equals negative one. Uh, if it's true, we're just gonna <laughs> encode two. Uh, otherwise, just keep going. 
so great. Uh, Mark. Into two. Enco 2 means we're done, so let's just say, uh, let's just say we're gonna, are you the one holding on to 199? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna link, I think the other person will be able to send, we're not sending any more data, so let's say we can go here, kill, and then, oh, that should be fine. We also have to just make sure we wipe that from. All right, let's try, let's try this. Yeah? What happened? Leave no trace. What did I leave behind? One nine nine. I left. Oh, I didn't drop that damn file before I went there. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I brought that with me. All right, this is it. 90, uh, 90 lines out of 100. And this is for iteration one. I feel pretty good, though. Nice. Let's speed it up. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. <laughs> did it anyway that's exapunks you could get in there you could go record um a gif of your uh of your fantastic solution <laughs> once you're done um there are a lot of amazing uh pieces of code people are writing out there i think it just saves your desktop if you, if you want it uh you can go back in you can figure some stuff out i uh I feel like I wrote a solution for this uh, or a similar solution for this. It was probably just as bad. One of these I have in here. Um, I don't think it had my latest one, but one of these. Uh, it was interesting. Sure did. Uh, so we'll get to see the chat run in here. One of these I wrote the lines. There was too many lines of code. It runs, but um, I had to optimize it. Otherwise, I couldn't get on the leaderboard. Okay. And now we'll see the kind of uh, chat update, which is fun. I broadcast my weird TV art and these people are like, yo, art. Mm-hmm. Sure they don't put art on TV. Um, I also feel like I did this one at home too, but it's hard to remember. Anyway, these are super fun. I really like it. Uh, X Punks is kind of a great game. I think that's a pretty good look. You can probably tell why I decided to just do this one by myself. At some point, you're just sitting here uh, going through and writing code and kind of debugging your code. And it's with somebody else here that could be either distracting or very boring for them to sit there and uh, not be typing or maybe interesting for you at home to watch and be screaming at the screen uh, as I kind of fumbled my way through this. Boy, there's got to be some better ways to do this. Look at this. There's just got to be. I mean, I can clean this up. Definitely ride a loop to do that. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I kind of was just spitballing here at the end. I mean, it works. It works. It's all you need to work. Let's just look at the other one. Let's look what this one was. I think this is deposit the money. Yep. Yep. All right. I think I remember this. We're not going to do this. Maybe some other day we'll do this. If you want to join me as I kind of uh, break my head against some of this stuff. I have no idea how far away I am from uh, finishing this, uh, but there's a lot of interesting stuff in Exapunks, uh, even if you bought it to just play um, uh, Hack Shift or Hack Match. It'd be worth it. Hack Match is pretty fun. I like it a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some more. Okay, I got all the instructions. Got it, got it. Got it. Got it. Take me to the game. 
Nice start. I forgot how to play already. Start. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish this and you can hang out with me. Because I really like this game. Oops, oops. Uh, I do wish you can see other people's solutions after you solve it. I feel like I want to see what some of my friends did to solve that puzzle. Speaking of... Uh, oh, that wasn't the best. What you doing here, Caravella? I don't know. Hacking. Oh, okay. Alright, I gotta move my fight here. Ooh, something horrible just fell. I don't know what that was. Ooh, they're all alone. Scary as hell. Boy, we're really making a lot of noise out there. Well, I think I'm getting hacked in real life. I'm gonna go see what's going on. It's Exapunks. It's on Steam. It's about 20 bucks. Check it out. Thanks. <laughs> 